Okay, gang, let me just do one more. So I did most of the cases with you. I showed you when you push a graph up one unit. Remember when I did that? And that's when you add a big one at the end. It's after the exponential function. But notice in this one, I put the one in with the exponent. This is a little one. It's a little guy. There's, it's not a big one at the end. And when you, when you put it inside the exponential part, that will move it left or right. So just like a parabola, if you add one, it's to the left. If you subtract one, it's to the right. Remember with a parabola, it's opposite of the inside. It's same thing with the exponential functions. Okay, so let's just rattle this off one more time. I just want to make sure you're good with these um, basic exponential graphs. All right, so if we plug in zero, it's two to the zero plus one, which is two to the one, which is two. If we put in a one, it's one plus one which is 2 to the 2, which is 4. If we put in a 2, it's um, 2 plus 1, which is 2 to the 3rd, which is 8. If we put in a negative 1, it's 2 to the negative 1 plus 1, which is 2 to the 0, which is 1. Let's put in a negative 2 also. So it's 2 to the negative 2 plus 1 is 2 to the negative 1, which is a half. All right, so I just crunched out some points for you. On the test, just try to give me the center, like the y-axis, like where the y-intercept is, and then a point to the right and a point to the left. You can do more than that, but um, a, a center point, a right point, and a left point would be perfect. All right, this graph is not pushed up or down, so that means that the horizontal asymptote is still at zero. Make sure you put it on your graph. It's part of the picture. All right, now let me plot some points. So at 0, we're at 2. At 1, we're at 4. At 2, we're at 8. At negative 1, we're at 1. At negative 2, we're at a half. So this graph is actually pushed back because usually the y-intercept would be a 1, but it got everything's being pushed to the left. Okay, so everything's coming back this way. So it's the same idea, the, um, the exponential growth, it's flat, and then it grows very rapidly. So it's flat and then it's going to grow very rapidly. So this is an example of exponential growth, but it's just pushed back to the left one unit. So it's just horizontally pushed to the left one unit. So if you add or subtract something in the exponential part, that moves it left or right. Positive is left, negative is right. It's always that opposite of what you think. All right, gang, I think you're good on this. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you. Bye-bye.